G'day and welcome to the Geek Teacher. Today what we're going to be looking at is giving Visual Basic the opportunity to have us ask a couple of questions of it and do something if the answer to that question is true and do something else if that the answer to that question is false. So this is what's known as an if-then-else statement and in Visual Basic um, that gives us the two-way branching block of um, looking at a condition and saying if it is true do this one thing otherwise it's not true so do this other thing so it's like walking up to a door and asking is the door open and if the door is open true we walk through it otherwise the door must be shut so we need to open it before walking through so that's what we're going to do um, you've got access to this document it's in the comments below this video or it's also, um, if you're following this along at school, then it's been shared with you there. And there's just a little bit of an overview about if then else statements. They look for a condition to be true, and if it's true, then it runs a bit of code, else, false, it runs something else. And the standard layout looks like this. So if condition, then, else, do something else, and if. And it's always important to make sure that you end the if statement with an end if. Just like everything else in Visual Basic, you need to bracket it. Um, so like you've got your private sub and then end sub, you need to end your your if statement as well. So we're gonna do that, but for the purpose of today's, we're also gonna add another little variation, try to teach it to you all in one block, called the else if. And what this does is it provides another condition, kind of like a sub condition of the first one, so that if a condition is true, then it will do something else. If another condition is true, it will do something else. Else, both of those conditions must have been false. Do something different. And to do this, what we're going to do is create a guess the number game. This is the form design for it here. Um, and what we're going to do is the computer will think of a number between 1 and 20. We get to uh, put in our guess. If our guess is smaller than the number, it will tell us. If our guess is bigger than the number, it will then tell us that. Otherwise, we must have gotten it, so it's true. So to put that in the language of what we're using, if our number... Sorry for that. Put it in the language of what we're using. If our number is less than the random number, then it will tell us too small. Else if our number is bigger then the random number, it will tell us it's too big, else, both of those are false, it's not too big, it's not too small, it must be right, so it will tell us, you got it. So that's going to happen here, we type our number in here, we press guess, and then up in here in label answer, it will say, uh, too small, too big, or you got it. And of course the exit button does what an exit button is meant to do, which is end the program. So having a quick look at how we're going to set it up, we're going to have our form, we're going to call it form main, give it a, a title at the top, guess the number, two buttons, button exit, which is going to be an exit button, and button guess, which will guess. Um, we're going to have two labels, label one just says what is your guess, and label two, we're going to call it LBL answer, we're going to set the auto size to false, and that's so that we can make it a bigger size, make the font bigger, and recess it so it's visible at all times. Um, we're going to make it fixed single, the border style, so that it looks like it's indented into the form, so it's very visible. That's where the answer is going to go. Going to make sure it's got no text to start with. Our text box that we're going to be putting the guess in, our text box that we're going to be putting the guess in will be called text to guess, um, and this time it's going to have no text. So looking at our algorithm design, um, you should be able to guess that this is what we're doing. Button exit click, it ends the program. No surprises there. For button guess, we're going to be creating a random number between 1 and 20 and putting that into the variable random guess. Remember those funky little variables that we had uh, in our last um, session of FlySwat and before that when we did variable fun? We've got procedural or local variables that only exist for this little bit of an event. Um, we've got form level that we can use in any procedure on the entire form or we've got global variables that work for the entire program. 
Well, in this case, we're going to be creating a local or, or procedural variable, so it only will exist for button guess. And it's going to hold a random number between 1 and 20. And hopefully you remember how to do that, but if not, we're going to be going through it again anyway. Then we're going to be taking the guess that's in the text box and sticking in a my guess, just because it's fun to do that, play with another variable. Then we're going to be checking that if my guess is smaller than this random number, whatever the number is a computer put in there, then we're going to say it's too small. And it will finish that, and then we get to click it again, and it goes through all this again. We might actually have to change that. That won't work, but that's okay. You can see the problem? I hope so. Um, if my guess is smaller than small, if my guess, if this, if my guess is smaller than random number isn't true, it comes down to false. It then asks else if my guess is greater than random guess, then it'll, if that's true, it'll say it's too big because it's bigger. Otherwise, it's right. Now we need to fix this up because what it's going to do is it's going to um, change that every time we run. That's really not good. So um, we'll go back and change that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this one sit outside button guess. This one's going to be a form level variable. We're going to make it happen. We're going to set its value at form load um, so that it is loaded at the very start. Glad you caught that one before we got too far along. So obviously now what we need to do is open up Visual Basic and get going. So if you open Visual Basic, you're going to be looking for a new project. And then we're going to call this one Guess the Number. So just type that in down here in the name. It's a Windows Form application, that's what we want. And then press OK. You can wait for Visual Basic to do its thing and load up. Uh, for some reason my computer seems to be running slower than normal. So here's some hold music. Do, 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 do. There we go. So here's our form. Remembering of course that we're going to be naming this form. Assuming that I don't stuff everything up. We're going to be naming this form. FRM main. FRM for form and then main. And we're setting the text all the way down here to be guess the number. Then what we want are two labels. Um, we also want two buttons and we want a text box. So just double clicking those makes them appear. We're going to stick this button down here for button exit. This one's going to be our guess button so we'll stick it kind of in the middle. This one's our text box that we're going to put our guess in, make that nice and big, even though it doesn't need to be. And then this one's going to be LBL answer. And obviously for LBL answer, we're going to want to change this tech. We will first of all come up here and call it LBL answer in name. We're going to go to border style and make it fixed single. Actually, fix single just puts a line around it. Um, fix 3D makes it inset. Choose either one, doesn't matter, but you do want to give it a border. Uh, we're going to make auto size false so that we can resize it to our heart's content. Like this. And then we're going to come down to our text and delete that. We might also make our text align in the center. Um, so that our answer appears in the middle and we can change our font size as well. At the moment it's sitting at 8.25, that is pretty tiny. Let's make it 14 and bold just for the fun of it. And there you go. So that's LBL answer done. This label is going to pop over here and we're going to just change its text. And it's going to say um, enter your guess below. So it's been updated there. This one, we don't want any text in that. Make sure that's empty. Go up, we're calling this one TXT Guess. Just like that in the name. Uh, our button is going to be BTN Guess. So do that in the name. Scroll down to the text and call this one Guess. And you'll see that that updates there. Button 2 is going to be Exit for the text 
and then up here in the name we're going to call this one btn exit now form is set up so we have a couple of things that we need to do number one we need to create our random number on form load we also need to make sure our exit button exits and then when we press guess we need to make sure that the number from here gets checked and we put that in there so first things first exit we're going to end the program and of course to end the program we know that you type end for end I'm going to delete that because that's useless now back in here in form main form one sorry um, we need to do form load so easiest way is to double click on the form and it automatically takes you to form load the alternative of course is to choose form main events from up here and then from this list choose load um, which will give you that now on form load we're going to need to create a variable we might call this rnd guess as integer um, we're not going to be expecting our people to guess a random number with including decimals um, it's green because we haven't used it yet and it will stay like that until we use it we then need to start our random number generator so we're going to have say randomize and then under randomize we're going to say rnd guess we're going to assign it the value of a random number so this one's going to be int remembering that what int does is takes the um, integer portion of the return number not the actual doesn't round it up it literally rounds it down and then we're going to do rnd times now this is 20 that we want between 1 and 20 now what that will do is actually give us between 0 and 19 remembering it rounds down so if our random number comes out as being 0 0.00001 it's actually going to int is actually going to give a zero and the highest number we can possibly get is 19.9999999 and it's going to round down to 19 so to make this work we need to plus one so that if it hit, gets returns zero it becomes one and if it returns 19 it becomes 19 now that's stored in rnd guess um, which isn't going to work because you'll remember that this needs to be a form level variable now if that means it needs to come up here in public class so up here and you'll notice that you get a nice little underline under there and it's in the declaration section so there you go in the declaration section so now this random number um, will be held this random number will go into RND guess and it will be available everywhere. Let's comment this up. This randomize starts the random number generator and RND guess um, creates a random number between 1 and 20. So now we've got our random number, we just need to put the stuff in for the guessing. So back here to form one, it's all going to happen on this click. It doesn't happen when they type, it doesn't happen on anything here, it happens when they click on guess. And so what it needs to do, what we're going to be doing with this is um, grabbing the user's number. We're going to check if it's um, bigger so what we're going to do is say something along the lines of um, if it's smaller say too small if it's bigger say too big otherwise you got it so that's what we're going to be doing in this one so let's grab the user's number first. Um, we're going to work with a variable to do that. Uh, so we're going to declare our variable. This one can exist just in here. So we're going to say dim my num as integer. Um, we're going to set that 
to be whatever's in txt guess dot text. Now remembering that this is a string, so what we can do is use something called c int, which changes whatever is in there to a number. Now if that's um, text and not a number, we could be in strife. Let's just hope that our kids, uh, our users, are smart enough to put a number in. Now what we're going to do is use our if statement, remembering of course that we use if for the condition, and our condition is going to be if it's smaller. So which number needs to be small? If my num is less than r and d guess, so if the number that our user typed in is less than the random number or smaller than the random number that the computer created, then we're going to say in LBL answer too small. Which is great. So what's happening here is my number if it's less than r and guess, it's going to say too small. Else if my num is greater than r and guess. Oops. So otherwise, so if it's not smaller than r and guess, it's going to look at this and say, is it bigger than r and guess? And if not, um, so if it is, it's going, we're going to change lbl answer dot text to say too big. But if it's not smaller and it's not bigger, then we need it must be right. So under else, then we're going to say lbl answer dot text equals you got it. So let's look at what's happening here. We're checking to see if it's smaller. And if it is smaller, it says this. If it's not smaller, we're going to check to see if it's bigger. So if this, then this, and that's what it'll do. If this is true, it'll just do this and then finish. But if this is not true, it will look at the next one, which is else if my num to see if it's bigger. And then if this one's true, it will do this else. And I apologize for my computer yet again. Else it's not smaller or bigger. So it must be right. So then we'll answer, you got it. Now, just checking that again. Let's look back at our form. This is what it's going to do. When the form starts, we're going to create a random number. Um, then if we click on exit, it will end. We type a number in here, press guess, it will check. Now what it will check is if that number that we just typed in is smaller than r and guess, it will say too small. If that number is bigger than R&D guess, it will say it's too big, otherwise it must be right, so it will say you've got it. Let's press play and see if it works. Here we go, enter your guess below, let's type in 5, too big, oh. let's type in 2, too small, so it's got to be 3 or 4, you got it, so the answer was 4. Now, what I haven't done is added a button to refresh it. I will get you to do that. That's an extension that you can do. Now obviously once you've done this, this if, else, if, else, um, or in our case just the if then else statement is going to be really useful for checking to see if our countdown timer on FlySwat has had hit zero and then give you an option to work with that if it has. So you're going to need to uh, pay a little bit more attention to this if, else, if, if, else statement, if, then, else statement. It is a core principle of programming. Um, every language has it, and you will use it like you've never, all over the place. So I hope this helps you figuring out how to use if, uh, if, then, else statements. In this particular case, also if, then, else, if, else statements. Um, an if statement would simply say, if this condition is true, then do this, else, 
do this. We just added an extra condition in the middle. Save your work and then um, you're good to go. Stressless. Be ninja.